Hello there, welcome to my studio. Now I thought I'd make this short video because I've been trying to set up my little studio here so that I can record me trying to compose music uh, and that involves recording off the computer as I'm playing on the keyboard and also recording the screen. Now I've managed to fathom all of that out but I had a bit of a problem and that was with this microphone. This is a, a BM800. It's one of these low-cost microphones you can get off the internet. Now they're very good uh, except they do suffer with hiss. So I had a look uh, around and I discovered a, a chap on YouTube who had applied a hack to the components inside. And so I thought I'd have a go the other day. So I don't take any credit for this hack um, and I'll put a link to his video in the description and probably up on the screen somewhere. Um, but it, it does work. It does certainly reduce the hiss. Uh, and I thought it would be worth showing you how I've tackled it. Now then, before I show you how I tackled this fix on this microphone, um, there's a couple of things I just want to say. First thing is I'm not an electronics expert and so I really would urge you to go and have a look at that video that I've linked to because he does explain the reasons behind this uh, problem and the solution. Uh, now he his solution is slightly more complicated than mine which is why I've made this video uh, so I hope you'll come back to me and just see how I've tackled it but basically this microphone is, an, is a great entry-level microphone and uh, the hiss was really causing me problems to the extent that I was just going to put it in the, in the uh, never to be used bin uh, but it, this fix has changed that completely and now it's certainly worthwhile using it. So I hope you'll stick around. But as I say, I would encourage you to go off and have a look at this other video because I'm not going to explain all the electronic details behind this fix. Now, if you want to do this hack, what you'll need is a resistor, which is 470 ohms. So if you're looking at the color coding, that's going to be yellow, purple and brown. And then as for the capacitor, it's a 220 microfarad electrolytic capacitor. And I've got one here which is set at 25 volts, which is fine because we're, we're going to be talking at around 9 volts by the time it gets to that capacitor. So what we need to do is take the microphone apart. And that's quite simple. You've just got to unscrew the base like so. And the shielding comes off. Now then, I was fooled when I took mine apart because I took this circuit board off thinking it did something and in actual fact it does nothing. It's not connected to anything. Uh, I don't know why they've got it there, whether they're using it for shielding or whatever. I've no idea. It really does nothing. What we're interested in is this side. Okay, so now let's have a close-up look at this hack. Now, I'll be perfectly honest with you, this bodge here is because I put the wrong resistor in first off. But um, I'll show you the picture of uh, how I did it originally, and you'll see that what I did was I connect this end of the resistor to this output from the transistor here. Now, the, the hack involves, I'm going to turn this around, just check that you can see what I'm looking at, actually breaking the connection from this output from the transistor there through to a resistor just there so you need to break this track now the gentleman on the video had actually just soldered the resistor across the gap there but these traces are very delicate and uh, they pull off really easily and then you're in all sorts of trouble so I fathomed out that it would be better to sold it to a, a tag that's already there and what I've done on this side and again you probably can't see it very clearly on this but hopefully you'll be able to see it on the photo that I show uh, this is also now soldered onto a, a tag of a resistor um, I should say the other thing I did was hot melt glue the capacitor here onto the circuit board so it didn't move it made life so much more easy 
Um, as far as the capacitor goes, it's basically going from the negative rail, which is over here, to the positive rail. Now the positive rail is easy because it just connects into this uh, side of the resistor. The negative side can just solder onto the tag of this resistor here. And so that's all quite firm. It's not going to come off. It's not going to rip off the, the track at all. Now if you went off and had a look at that uh, video that I suggested, you'll know that the components he used were slightly different to the ones that I've used. He used a 1K resistor and I think it was a 470 microfarad capacitor. Uh, now because he used a higher value resistor it lowered the voltage and he had to then make an adjustment by changing one of the diodes. By using the right values you don't need to change that diode so that's the approach that I took and after reassembling the mic I did some tests uh, just by recording uh, some sound on Cubase now I'd done a few recordings before I did the fix and I did some afterwards so let me play you the two before and after this is a test with the microphone gain set at three quarters I'm holding the microphone about one foot away from my mouth. This is a test with the gain set at three quarters. I'm holding the microphone about 12 inches away from my mouth. Right, well if you like me and you solder it all up and then put it together, and you realize that it's not working, it might be worth just checking the voltage across the capacitor. It should be in the region of around eight volts. And if it isn't, then you've probably got a loose connection somewhere. I will be honest, the soldering of these components is a little bit fiddly. I've got quite a narrow ended soldering iron, which uh, I managed to do it with, and I <laughs> looking through a magnifying glass to see what I was doing. Um, but, um, if you've got that equipment it certainly is worth doing this change because it's made a, a fantastic difference to this microphone anyway thank you very much for watching and uh, well i'll see you soon with guitar building cheers